And good afternoon. Today I'm going to be bringing a, you one that I picked up at a Kroger downstate in Port Huron, Michigan. And it's a Tabasco variety, sweet and spicy. It's a, it says on the box that it's an Asian style. Um, oh, best used at room temperature. So I don't need to refrigerate this one. Cool. Take up a little less space. Wonder if all Tabasco sauces have that on there. I'd have to look, look at my bottles and see. So I've got a few of theirs now. I got the habanero, I got the regular, I got the green, chipotle, I got a garlic one that I have yet to test. Let's give this a shake ski. It seems pretty thick. Hold on one sec. Okay. Sorry. Ooh. Yeah, this is very thick. Look at this. Well, it's not very thick, I shouldn't say that. But it's really almost syrupy. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it oh, it has a teriyaki smell to it. Ooh. Okay, let's see what we got. High fructose corn syrup is the first ingredient. Red pepper, sugar, distilled vinegar, pear concentrate, garlic, water, onion, Tabasco brand pepper sauce, which includes distilled vinegar, red pepper, and salt. And then, after that, we have ginger, salt, xanthan gum, and spices. So the teriyaki is probably in the spices. Very distinct Asian smell to it. Ginger. You can definitely detect the teriyaki. I don't remember what spices are used in a teriyaki seasoning. Just the combination of all these is definitely very oriental smell. It smells really good. Without further ado here, let's see what we got. It is it's like the consistency of a barbecue sauce or a sweet and sour sauce. It's I don't want to make it seem like it's un unappetizing looking, but it is almost gelatinous because it's so syrupy. It's almost like the texture of preserves or jam. Maybe a little bit thinner than that, but... Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. That is wonderful. Very, very sweet. I was hoped that it would. Got just the right amount of vinegar and salt. Definitely got the teriyaki and ginger. Strong, pervading. And the garlic is right up there, up in with the rest of that. Pretty minimal heat. It's got the, like a black peppery, similar to a Tabasco kind of burn, but only milder. Let's try a little bit more of that, see if we can pick up on any of the other subtle notes. Mmm. Pick up on the onion. The, um, don't really notice the Tabasco taste, which is good. Um, I like the Tabasco style Louisiana um, cayenne and Tabasco red pepper sauces. But 
this one can't really detect that. Very minimal heat. I'd say way on the low end of the scale, but it's definitely there. I can notice it. It's pretty subdued. A teaspoon serving, by the way, has 15 calories. There's a lot of sugar in it. Four total carbs, two from sugars, and then two, I'm guessing, from starches and other uh, medium to, to long chain carbs that are not quite f at fiber status. Because it doesn't say anything about fiber. 80 milligrams of sodium, so low on the saltiness scale. Like I said, it, just the flavor, it's very sweet, but it also got a little bit of the vinegar tang underneath and a little bit of the saltiness and bring up the flavor of the ginger, onion, garlic, and uh, whatever spices they use in ter teriyaki. I definitely detect strong hints of that. So, heat's almost gone. It's a very low-level heat, but uh, the flavor is tremendous. I'm glad that Tabasco is branching out and making a lot of different varieties of sauces because this one is definitely a keeper. I highly recommend this one. This would be great on a stir-fry. Chicken, uh, fried rice, uh, some toss with some vegetables, you know, saute it up, throw this on top. It'd, it'd make a great marinade for uh, tenderloin cutlets of chicken, uh, pork, whatever, and then throw it all together. This is an excellent sauce. Highly recommend this one. This is one of the best ones I've tried lately for sheer flavor without all that much heat. I like heat, but uh, flavor is definitely an important component of a food additive, and this one has an abundance of delicious oriental-style flavor. The teriyaki, garlic, ginger, onion, boom. All right in your face, full-blown flavor, awesome. Highly recommend this one. Tabasco is sweet and spicy. I've never seen it anywhere else except for Kroger downstate, and I don't think I'd even heard of it before I spotted it there. Um, I usually, when I make rounds through grocery stores, I'll look in the regular sauce aisle where they keep the barbecue sauce, ketchup, mustard, relish, and whatnot, and I'll look at the hot sauce section. Then I go over to section, uh, I don't know if it's the same in other, every other place in the country, but uh, we have a Hispanic section in our Walmart and also in uh, other grocery stores around town. Uh, that they call it the ethnic section, um, and there's Hispanic sauces and whatnot, uh, taco sauce, salsa, regular hot sauce, you know, regular hot sauces, etc. And then there's at our at our Walmart, there's an Asian section. We have a fairly uh, sizable Oriental population here in the Upper Peninsula, of Michigan, especially near Marquette. Um, there's a, quite a few Asian restaurants and a lot of Oriental uh, ancestry people working there at those places so we got an Asian section at most of our supermarkets around here and I always look there because they have chili sauces of varying kinds um, a lot of them are sweet chili sauces there's that sriracha that I tried and also a few others um, that I have not picked up yet but I had never seen this particular one until I went to Kroger so yeah Tabasco sweet and spicy 13 thumbs up <laughs> if I had 13 thumbs I'd be showing them right across. Anyway, well, give this one a try if you can find it. I uh, recommend looking it up online if you can't find it at your grocery store. If you like oriental food and like a little bit of heat to go along with the stir fry or whatever else, highly recommend this one.